So I want to talk about the 110 Coalition a little okay. bit. Can you tell me about the coalition and what yes. the work is? So, um, so I am co-chair of something called 110 with uh, Ken Frazier, but also started with co-founders uh, Charles Phillips, who had worked at Oracle, uh, Ken Chenault, American Express, and Kevin Shearer, Amgen. It is about placing one million uh, black Americans into upwardly mobile middle class jobs, but who don't have a college degree. The short story of this is I spent a decade at IBM working on this topic, and it was serendipity when I really fell into it. Looking for cyber people, couldn't find them, worked with a local high school and a community college, and was willing to bring in folks that um, really sort of had an associate degree. When we hired only PhDs and, and mm -hmm. college grads, lo and behold, they turned out to be great, great, great employees, and I'm like, and by the way, all from underrepresented communities. I thought, uh-oh, this is like a brand new talent pool for everybody. And like, did they actually need a college degree to start in that job? And I found all of our, many of our jobs were over-credentialed. As it would turn out, it would take me almost a decade, but 50% were over-credentialed. And now I have found this to be true in almost every company in this world mm -hmm. and in this country. It just became an easy way for hiring, college degree required. Right. And it's not. And so it's keeping so many people out of good jobs. They have to have skill, mm -hmm. but 65% of Americans, I should quiz you on this, don't have a college degree. 80% of black Americans don't have a college degree. Mm -hmm. I mean, those are huge numbers. Back to making sure that people feel technology brings them a good future. So um, it was something I'd worked on for a very long time, calling it a skills first approach. And then it was in the aftermath of the murder of George Floyd. Um, my colleagues, particularly Ken and Ken, were saying, hey, look, business should do what it can do and hire people. That's what we do best in give economic opportunity. And I do believe economic opportunity is the best equalizer. So they had a great vision and I'm like, ah, they are the what, I am the how. Mm -hmm. This skills first idea will allow us to, you know, get people the right skill, but everybody's gonna have to change their hiring requirements. And that's what 110 does. Think of it, we're working with the biggest companies in the country, and we're working with all skill providers to bring folks into these jobs. And by the way, it's barriers that exist for every, every underrepresented group mm -hmm. and everyone without a college degree. But we happen to just start with that population. And it, I think it's particularly relevant, you talk about hiring for skills as opposed to hiring for degrees. It's true for everybody, it's, by the way. It's true for everybody, yes. but especially in the technology world, you used to have to go to a school to learn these skills, but you could start learning how to code when you're six years old on the internet. Yes, and, and this is a really good point. And, and, and so that idea of, in our, our industry, three to five years, skills obsolete, right? Mm -hmm. So you just, I, it taught me to hire for curiosity more than a tech skill. I can teach you a tech skill. You can teach yourself a tech mm -hmm. skill. It is about hiring for curiosity. And if I have a computer science degree where but I majored in Fortran I'm not so maybe not so relevant anymore. No but if you kept learning and I mean mm -hmm. that's really that my this is one of the points in the book I make over and over like I feel if someone said what's the number one thing I should do I'm like ask more questions and give answers. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That, that's how I feel, right? Yeah. That's and, and if you because you you feel you're insatiably curious. Yeah. That's why you're in sure. this profession, yeah. right? <laughs> okay. You're always going to be relevant then. Yeah. yeah.